So I haven't been sick in, uh, well, I went vegan maybe like a year and a half ago. And my boyfriend's been sick since then, and I don't catch it. It's been great, which didn't happen in the past. You know, it may take me a while to catch it, but I always ended, ended up getting sick and catching it. But this time, I haven't caught anything from him at all. Oh, and yesterday, yesterday I felt like I had the flu. But I don't really think that I'm sick with like a virus or cold. And he, I don't think he's going to even catch it because it's not a virus or cold. But for the past week, I've been just really stressed out. A whole bunch of, a whole bunch of things in life. I'm not like going to get into right now in this video. But there's a whole bunch of things in life that have been stressing me out. Oh, dog hair. Of course, everywhere. <laughs> and I've been really, just really, really busy kind of. And I, I try to wake up really early to go do these, like work on my business. And every time I've been trying to wake up early and I just hit the snooze button, snooze button, snooze button. I haven't been able to um, wake up early at all this week. But me having the alarm going off is still not preventing me from getting the good night's sleep that I want. That's why I couldn't wake up. It's because I needed a good night's sleep. And it's been a week. And I try to go to sleep early, but still I, I kind of have restless nights and don't really sleep through the night. And then I get woken up early and I've just been very, very exhausted all week. And then yesterday I had work all day long. I had to do an opening and closing shift. But before that, I was like, okay, I'm going to get a good night's sleep. I'm going to go to bed early. But sometimes I think that when you like tell yourself, oh, I'm going to get a good night's sleep. I'm going to go to bed early. It just kind of screws you up. And I literally did not sleep at all that night, two nights ago. I probably slept um, for like an hour and a half in all in like 15 minute intervals throughout the course of the night. Like I kept looking at my phone. I'm like, oh, it's only 15 minutes later. I ended up coming out to like my living room here, like when I'm sick and just like watching TV at four in the morning, like trying to fall asleep. Anyway, that morning when I woke, when I was, it was time to go to work. I had no car and I had to ride my bike to work. Not only had I been exhausted and stressed out throughout the entire week, but that night I did not sleep like at all. I barely ate anything. I did, I ate this one soup and um, I don't know what happened. It just made, made me feel very uncomfortable. Like I felt like I might throw up. I didn't throw up, I just felt uncomfortable. And then I had to wake up in the morning. I got up in the morning and I had to ride my bike to work, which isn't really that bad. I ride my bike to work sometimes, you know, I'm not like that athletic and I don't ride my bike that often. Like I will in the future, I'm gonna get more into it, fitness and exercise. But it shouldn't have, it shouldn't have drained me like it did, but because of the past week and that night before, we're not getting any sleep, I was like running on my reserves, you know? I was like, I just barely had enough to keep going. And then I, I used the last of those reserves to ride my bike to get to work, like up these big hills. On a, my road bike, the tires popped, so I rode my mountain bike, which is too short for me, and kind of just takes way longer and it was way more difficult, but whatever. Anyway, at work, I felt like I had the flu. I was cold and shaky even though everybody else was hot. My nose was all runny, I had a headache, I was sensitive to like lights and sounds, and my muscles were so sore, especially my legs because I rode the bike. But either way, my boyfriend goes on about how, oh, I think you have the flu, like this is terrible, you have the flu, I haven't had the flu in so long, like I thought you were really healthy. And like, I'm still not feeling the best today. I'm a thousand times better, I would not have been able to make this video yesterday. But I was just physically exhausted. I've drained myself and um, I don't know if this happens to everybody, but it happens to me. Not every night, but sometimes if I'm stay staying up too late, all of a sudden my nose will start running. Ever since I was like younger, my nose will start running and I'll, it'll be kind of a sign to me, be like, oh, I'm, I'm staying awake too late. I need to go to sleep because my body's kind of like, oh, <laughs> I need to recharge. I need to like heal myself. You're kind of, I'm not sure why it happens, but it does. So I believe that my, all my flu-like symptoms were just simply because I was physically exhausted. Ugh. So I got myself some grapes and a smoothie and uh, I was drinking some coconut water, some electrolytes, some lemon and tea, a couple other things. You know, the types of things that you really, you drink when you are sick and they've been making me feel better. But they also just give you energy, replenish your system in general, like whether you're sick from a flu or virus and you need to become strong to help fight it, or if you're just sick from fatigue and draining yourself, it still helps. I'll just get, go back to health. Fluids, fruits, vegetables, electrolytes, things like that are really gonna help your body get better and get back to its best self, you know? Well, I'm gonna go rest a little bit more, maybe 
maybe do something else if I have the energy, but it's good for me to rest all day and not push myself anymore. This was like a huge warning sign, like, hey, Corinne, you need to watch yourself, you need to calm down, you need to relax, take, take a little time to do self-care for yourself, so... Mm. It would probably be better if I don't get up and do too much work today. I've been working a lot, so I'm going to take a day for myself, a little self-care, maybe take a nice long bubble bath. We'll see. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye.